and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be taking a look at the scary nights add on. So, yeah, this is obviously more like a horror theme, like add on, and that like, makes the night scarier. That's all I really knew. Didn't look too much into it. Uh, also, my throat is a little bit like, uh, you know, tickly, a little bit sore. So, I am su currently sucking on a, uh, what's this called? A, uh, Lockett's uh, honey and lemon with menthol and the yucca yucca pole. Uh, anyway, basically, it's a pro lozenge. Yep. So, uh, it, if I'm talk, if I'm not as like vocal as I usually am, that's just because I don't want to strain my throat. Hopefully, it's nothing. Kind of just pass in a day or two. But yeah, if I stop uploading videos, you'll know why. Anyway, welcome to the Scary Nights add-on. This add-on that brings 10 new types of nights to you, enhancing the difficulty in your game. In this book, you can find information about every feature added by this add-on. If you ever lose this book, you can make a new one by using a book and rotten flesh in your crafting inventory. They've got knights, others, settings, and extra. Okay, so don't watch. Knights. Every knight has its own challenge. Maybe it is reduced vision, dangerous monsters, or other difficulties. Knights will randomly appear or can be summoned by putting the item listed on the knights section into the witchery pot. You can disable knights if you don't like them in the settings. So, witchery pot. Witch. Oops. Witch. So you craft a witchery pot with a campfire and a cauldron. So give at P witch. Oh, I've forgotten how to spell witch. Yeah, witch. Here we go, witchery pot. So we put this here. Looks good, I guess. So, nice. Acid rain. Contact with acid rain can be very dangerous. Seek cover to avoid being hit by the acid rain. It can be deadly. Witchy pot item, poisonous potato. Minimum world age five days. So, if I give myself a poise and this potato give at P poise I right click this Conjure of the night cancelled because it I because the item was picked up. Oh there we go. So you have to stand back which is a bit annoying. Now said rainstorm will occur tonight, so if I go Time set night. Yeah, acid rainstorm. Seek shelter immediately. Also, I hear the crows. Uh, there's snowing here. Is there anywhere where it's not snowing that so I can see if it actually has like green acid rain? Or is it just yeah, no, it's just normal rain. So yeah, you can see it's just normal rain. Yeah, you, I am slowly taking damage, but this is like super mega OP armor. If I take this off, I'm waiting for the effects to go away. Yeah, I'm on. There we go. You can see I start. Yeah, you take a fair bit of damage from this. So it is fairly dangerous if you're caught outside in it. Anyway, time set day. So on to the next one. Next up is foggy. A thick fog layer fills the air, making it difficult to see. 
all the dangers during the night. Which three pot item wind charges? So this can happen any day. So if I give that P wind. Also I'm gonna hold on game will mob one, two, three. I'm gonna set that to true. So you right click that. And then set time to night. Oh, yeah. I don't know what that noise is. I mean, it's just like spooky noises. Yeah, you can see the fog. Yeah. Not super scary, but it is, does kind of like reduce your like vision, so. It would be easy for like mobs to like uh, attack you. Hold on, let me take my arm off and see if that's affecting you because uh, that gives you night vision. So if you don't have night vision, wait for it. Yeah, that's this is what it looks like without night vision. Uh, honestly, not super scary. Let me put my arm on, and we'll check out the next uh, night effect. Ah, you wish the horizontal movement on the flying suits was a bit better, just a bit. It's so slow. Anyway, uh, let's attempt the... Next up is the thunderstorm. This, uh, the night sky will be covered in dark clouds. Going outside is not advised. The risk of getting struck by lightning is significantly higher. Additionally, creepers will be uh, charged with power, making them even more dangerous. Uh, to summon this, you need a prismamine shard. It can uh, spawn naturally after three days. Priz. Prismarine Shard. I'm also going to give that P spawn Creeper. There we go. Creeper spawn egg. Nope, that was staring too close. This is why I was playing earlier. I just make it, if you want to make it so that they can take it back out, just make it so they can right click. They just need to right click it. So time, set, night. Yeah, and there's a, there's a snowstorm here, but if we go over here. Oh yeah, that creeper just naturally spawned and it's uh, charged. And if I place, yeah. So all creepers automatically go, <coughs> 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 Yeah, do you be? So all creatures naturally become uh, charged creepers, and uh, uh, that's actually quite useful actually because uh, if you want to get a mob head, then uh, this is a easy way to get it to if you don't have a uh, channeling trident. Anyway, I'm gonna set the set it today now. I've not been struck by lightning though, which is a bit odd. It's like oh you. Chance of lightning being struck by lightning is higher, but I've just instead. Oh, lightning strike! There we go. Uh, three, two, one. There we go. So yeah, randomly you will get struck by lightning if you're outside. So yeah, that's kind of cool, but uh, not super. Anyway, not super difficult. Yeah. Oh god, I got one more lightning striking on me. Yeah, 
Anyway. Yeah. Night. So we've got the full moon. Moon shines bright. Some may feel safe, but uh, werewolves will awake. These powerful creatures should not uh, be underestimated. Werewolves are said to have immense health and will uh, try to bite anyone that they get near. They can also knock you away with their powerful claws when you attack. Shoot to them, uh, shooting them will uh, make them even more angry, uh, causing them to leap at you. And it requires a glowstone. This can happen after five days. Give that pea glow. Dude. Time set night. So let's see if we can. So our werewolves are the only ones that can spawn during the full moon. Oh. Uh, can they spawn along with the other mobs? I'm not seeing anything actually. Ooh, werewolves or something. Come on. Oh, let me get I did wait, didn't I? Didn't give me that thing. Oh, I Hmm. Weird, I'm not seeing any werewolves. I'm not seeing any anything. There's a chicken. There's a couple of chickens. There's a zombie. I'm not seeing any werewolves. Hold on. I'm a summon a werewolf. Yes, it's not really doing too well. Yeah, fine, any. Anyway, some where okay, this is a werewolf. Well, they have a ton of health. Because with each hit, I do basically 20 damage because I have like a ton of strength. And that took like four punches, so he has like at least 60 health. It doesn't drop anything. So let's kill it with that. No, yeah, so it uh, it doesn't drop anything, so not really worth killing. Uh, and let me just get some diamond armor real quick. I forgot about all the other armors. Hmm? I might be up to eat. Legs, boots, all right, let's summon the werewolf. Here we are. Oi. Oh, I'm in creative. Okay, yeah, he does a bunch of damage even in diamond armor. There we go, he's dead. So, yeah. 
Certainly not a pusher. We're only really, really making men going out. Going, going out during the full movie because, like, like I said, he doesn't really drop anything, so there's no real point in doing it and killing them. There's night. New moon. It's a new moon. The absence of the moon reduces the vision of a player to only a few blocks. Be careful where you step and be careful what you do. Additionally, phantoms that start, phantoms start filling the night sky. Ink sack. This can happen after five days. Ink sack. Ink sack. D. Put that in there. New moon when there. Time set night. Yep. Oh yeah, there you are just blind. You cannot see anything. I need your doggy. Eat your doggy. Anyway. And apparently a bunch of phantoms are supposed to spawn, but you can't really see them, so I can't show them that off. If I give that P M M I L K no no no. Nope, it instantly reapplies the darkness effect. So yeah. This would actually be quite difficult. Um, hold on, does it still give you blindness if you're on the ground? Yeah, if I think I can find the mountain that I'm looking for. I think I've gone in the wrong direction. I can't really see it, so hold on. Where am I? Somewhere. I want to find the ground so I can just like dig down into a cave and see if it's, if you still get blindness in a cave. It's re really, you shouldn't get blindness if it's like a uh, new moon in, up above ground, but you're below ground. <laughs> I can't see anything, so I can't find dry land. Just w oh, running into the darkness, hoping I find it. Hold on. Give at P map. Can I get myself a locator map? Lock at. No. Hold on. Kill at P. Respawn. Alright, so I saw if I go in this direction, I should hit. Yeah, here we go. So. I just go into here. Oh, yeah. Ah! Oh, wait. Here we go. Ah, no. I thought for a second, I knew it didn't apply if you're on the ground, but no. Does apply, which, like I said, you'll be anno uh, annoying if you're on the ground and then you're suddenly blind because there's a new, uh, there's a new moon. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna time set D. At least it goes away uh, as soon as it becomes D. Nice. Swarm of bees. Angry bees are trying to make, trying to take their revenge. When you hear a swarm near you run, the angry bees will spawn in swarms and uh, sting you, applying poison to you. The only way to get rid of them is to fight. Uh, item is honey chem, this will appear after five days. Give the honey. Come.
turn set mid gate. Really be aware of those things and seek shelter. Oh yeah, there's some bees. Actually, these are like uh, custom bees. And they don't die. When you attack them. Oh, and you do actually get items from these. So depending on what you can use these for, it might be actually it might actually be worth fighting them. Let's be, let's be. Anyway, I'm gonna set time today. Time set day. Yeah, that's a. Uh, Actually, pretty uh, difficult if you even like diamond armor on because po uh, the poison effect goes through the armor. So let me just get rid of them. So let's go to the crafting table and see what I can craft with these stingers. Search craftable. Not really? I oh, wait. Yeah. Arrow of poison. So if you get two of them and some arrows, you can craft poison tipped arrows. Oh, or you just actually only need one. Why is why is a recipe for one of them? Only recipe for, oh wait. Poison two yeah, so that's poison. so they're poison. No wait no. Yeah, poison, poison, poison. Yeah, they're both poison, but I think that one's... Yeah, so that one's 15 seconds, that's 5 seconds, so... Uh, yeah. I'd rather it be stronger poison than longer poison. Because, yeah, poison... This is po They're both poison one, but... And poison one that does minus 1 HP every 1.25 seconds, but poison does minus 1 HP every 04 seconds, which it is more than double the amount of damage. Because, um, yeah, that's 0.25, get to 1, and then 0.6, so that's like 0.75 seconds less, where this is triple. Yeah, I still, I think, uh, I don't, I don't know exactly, but I'm pretty sure that Poison 2 would be better. I don't know. Yeah, if you want poison tip towers, that's some new another way to get them. But I would have liked a new like armor set or weapon or something, I guess. Rather than just crafting something that's already in vanilla, that isn't even super useful because you can't really use them on dead mobs because that just heals them. Eternal frost. The snowstorm lasting the whole night will uh, come. Water and the ground that around the players it will start freezing and your sight will be limited. The only uh, way to survive it is by uh, staying near a heat source. The following blocks can be considered as a heat source. Campfire, soul campfire, torch, soul torch, fire, soul fire, lantern, soul lantern, lava, magma, lit furnaces, lit smokers, lit to blast furnaces and witchery pots. And it's a nice block. Give at P is midnight. Oh yeah, I'm freezing. It said to the this counts as a Heat sauce. Yep. I don't know if they could do this, but I think it would be cool this if they like had the uh, whole like um, you know the whole like uh, powdered snow effect, or like the 
screen like slowly started to become frosted and then you take damage after a little bit rather than just instantly starting taking damage as soon as uh, you uh, are not near a heat source. Also, end portal frames don't count as a heat source when they should be counted as a heat source because they do give off light and heat and can melt ice. But yeah. And it does slowly convert some ice around you into some water around you into ice. But yeah. Uh, And you're gonna dodge these zombies. Punch a creeper in the face. And give up the camp. So, um, it would help if I press tab, campfire. Put that there. Yeah. Put those up. So, yeah. Pretty cool idea. Oh, so if you're... Yeah, I'm going to test the underground thing. If you're on the ground... Well, it's still... Well, you still free. So say I took... Cover in here. Now, still freezing. So you would have to put a down to stop yourself from freezing. We can also different to... Uh, uh, different heat sources should give up, have different ranges, so like a uh, torch should only have a little range because they're small. Um, well, campfires should have a bigger range than fires. And fires should have a same range as campfires and all that. Yeah, cool. I guess a cool idea. Uh, time set day. You're gonna have to put this guy in the face because he's got gold armor. Alright, on to the next night. Alright, Tim Foss Haunted. Supernatural powers have taken the control tonight. Strange things will happen. The vexes will start spawning around the player. And you need a card pumpkin. Give at P card pumpkin. Set time, set night, mid, night. Let's beware the supernatural. So where is he, where are the Vex is at? Yes, bitter. Oh, oh it's got the old oof sound, that's cool. Oh, there's a the Vex. Also, Big Creeper. He did say that generally most would like be stronger and stuff, I guess. I think they said something like that in the book. Oh, this one's got a cow pumpkin on his head. That's cool. Uh, oh, another card, pumpkin, yay. Well, they can drop the card, pumpkin. Nice. You can't craft this into... Yeah, you can You can only craft it into uh, jack-o'-lanterns. You can't craft it into seeds. But yeah, this one's not really that bad because you don't get a ton of vexes. I've only got one vex. Like, I really wanted the fish. There you go, got another Vex. Yeah, this one's not too bad. Time set. 
Crafty. He's not going to be because he's wearing a pumpkin. Punch. On to the next night. Yeah. Void. Void all the stars spreading around the Dali world. The cre creatures from another dimension will be found a lot more. Frequently be careful and don't get caught in the void. Eyes of Ender. Can happen after eight days. Ooh. Give that P I and I. Yeah, there we go. Hi, set mid night. So here's this void at that demands from last night. Oh, it's all purpley. That's a cool effect. This normal spider, normal creeper. And for the guys in here. Nothing special yet. Look, zombie creeper. I'm not seeing any of these void things. Yeah, there's supposed to be like mobs all the dimensions spawning as well. Yeah, uh, my news is a little bit bummed up today as well. There's no other man. Well, that's, that's ominous. I don't know what that did. What's that? Hey, an endermite. Not really the most threatening uh, extra dimensional mob. Oh, hey! Shulker! That's cool. That's cool. Also means you can get shulker shells early if you have not gone to the end in like the first five days. This one doesn't seem too difficult. Got another shulker over there. Yeah, not all too difficult. You know, I am wearing Omega OP armor. Oh. They're still following me. Anyway, I'm going to set term today. Set D. And we'll move on to the next one. No, so I'm going to get a quick drink. Last one of these nights, Infernal Invasion. So I guess this will be never mobs. And the first one, then this one will be never. During Infernal Invasion, the fire, fiery creatures arise. They will come in the groups from the ground, putting any other mob near them on fire. Never war to you. So I guess this is just like never mobs invading the world. Give. At P and Navy. What? Wow. 
Right, so time set mid Where's these fiery mobs at? Oh, there's a magma cube. See if I don't get have enough oh and ghasts as well. Now that is it, just magma cubes and ghasts. I think they're like a blaze or two at least as well. Oh, the gas fireballs destroy ice. Oh, they, they, they destroy it, huh? They don't turn it into water. Oh, Zoglin. Yeah, I'm not seeing any uh, blazes. I'm not seeing any zombie pigments. Also, I thought my cubes died in water. Not as if it did, I mean, it might be in the bit annoying if like a gas spawns and blows up your wooden house and sets it on fire and burns it down. Oh, hey! We got a pickling brute! Ah, uh, it's annoying when there's two skeletons. Okay, time set day. And let's uh, look at the rest of it. So, we've done all the nights, there's other. So, there's the witch report, part, there's bed bugs. Sometimes angry bugs will sneak up from beneath your bed. When you are trying to sleep, watch out for them, they bite. When killed, bug beds drop string. Where oh, werewolves sometimes drop werewolf claws when killed. This powerful item deals high amounts of knockback to any mob. Additionally, it has four attack damage and can be enchanted. Four attack damage isn't that good. I think it's I think an iron sword has four. Uh Sword. Oh, it would help if I was in the crafting table. So, well, that wooden sword has plus four attack damage, not to the eye. And iron has plus six. So it's like, oh, I also has plus four attack. Yes, no. Uh, so, oh, it does as much da damage as a wooden sword. The thing that nobody bothers to craft. Like, sure, knockback is kind of nice, but it's just like, why? When I could just get a stone sword and just kill them a bit quicker. Uh, beastie. Okay, beastie can be combined with a... Oh, the crap is probably now. The two stingers to... To the hour to increase the duration of the effect. I mean, it sounds... Uh, could try these... Uh, to get these bed books things. This setting so you can turn each one off and on. So give at P bed Cyan. I think you can die bed Cyan die bed. I want a cyan bed. Yeah. Anyway, 
So, time set. Midnight. Sleep. No bed bugs. Hey, it's day. Wait, it's day time. No, there we go. I've got bed bugs. So, time. Let's set time to day. So you can actually see these guys. Oh, and there's a creeper coming. On me. Right. Oh. So yeah, this is like the old bugs. Be hard to see. Hold on. Game mode one. Yeah, there's these little like bug guys. And if I stab one with my sword, it drops a bunch of string. Yeah. If I saw like, a weed creeper earlier. Yes, not. Anyway. So yeah, that's this add-on. Uh, my final thoughts is that, yeah, pretty good. Got some cool little challenges in it. Uh, and it's not just going to... Uh, like give you like the hardest ones on the first night you know you actually have to play for a few days for them for the harder ones to spawn which is nice otherwise you know you could just like be on your first night and then you get like shulkers and and then they might spawn and then the men spawning and all that and it's just be a nightmare or like ghasts and stuff and vexes so yeah See, so yeah, it is nice that they don't just spawn, kind of just spawn on the first night. But this, other than that, there's not, well, there's not ton to it, really. I, I guess that's, yeah, you know, like I said, it is nice that you know, you know, a bit of challenge, but it doesn't add a ton, really. But, yeah, yeah. anyway, you've, you've watched the video. You will know, you know, whether or not you want to, Pick this up, but yeah, I hope he, this guy did help you. Uh, did, I hope this video did help you guys uh, decide whether or not you want to pick this up. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.